Tokyo Imperial University, March 1924. In an early experiment with nuclear energy, Professor Hantaro Nagaoka directs 150,000 volts of electricity at a mercury isotope under a dielectric layer of paraffin oil for four hours. The purpose, to strike out a hydrogen proton from the nucleus of the mercury and produce a new element. Gold. The experiment is a success. Professor Nagaoka has solved the mystery that has eluded scientists for centuries. The mystery of the Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone was an idea that you could have a magic kind of material that would turn lead or some very inexpensive metal into gold. The thought that one could do that is attractive in and of itself. For thousands of years, King sought out this mythical device, one that could create gold out of common metal. Scientists and alchemists spent centuries trying to invent one. Even Sir Isaac Newton obsessed over the mystery of the Philosopher's Stone in the 17th century. Although the English crown, fearing the potential devaluation of gold, had made the practice of alchemy punishable by death. By the time of Professor Nagaoka's experiment in 1924, most of the scientific community had declared the process of producing gold from another metal impossible. But that quickly changed once they knew where to look. The secret of alchemy lies in the stars. When you think about how gold's made, naturally, gold is formed basically in the nuclear reactions in the sun. And then it spread throughout the universe when a supernova occurs, and the sun explodes and sends all of the products out. Because we now can do controlled nuclear reactions, we have the ability, finally, to essentially manufacture gold from other elements. Here, at the University of California, Irvine, Dr. A.J. Shaka conducts experiments in alchemy nearly every day. We can put mercury into one of these tubes, and mercury has a minor isotope of 0.15%. Mercury 196, it's called, and that isotope will actually pick up a neutron and in about 23 hours turn into gold. To bring the reactor to full capacity, Dr. Shaka removes the control rods that absorb neutrons and keep them from reacting with other atoms. This generates power at a staggering rate. In terms of the amount of power, including electrical energy, that you can generate from a given mass of material, nuclear is about 10 to 20 million times better than anything else. After 24 hours, the experiment has been a success and yields gold, a real-life philosopher's stone at work in the basement of a university building. The discovery of alchemy has been invaluable to science. Gold is a pretty amazing metal. Gold is one of the best conductors of electricity we have, which is obviously very important in electronic applications. Not only do you need a really good conductor, but you need one that won't corrode. And so gold, when you really, really need high quality, long lasting, good electronics, it's really the choice that you would make. Is gold something that's really important to space exploration and to astronomy? Well, it actually is very important, and the reason why is because gold is an inert material. It doesn't react with anything. The other thing that's very important about it is that it is a wonderful conductor of electricity. And last but not least is the fact that gold is a perfect reflector of infrared energy you can use gold blankets to protect spacecraft against the intense heat of a star or any sort of heat source. 